and realized that these potatoes were made for dipping and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these crispy ass potatoes are gonna dip all over you. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, you guys, we're gonna start this one off by making some honey mustard sauce, my style. We're gonna put some mayo, some honey, some ballpark mustard, Dijon for a little bite and a little kick, a little bit of Frank's for some vinegar and some heat, a sprinkle of salt just to make it all pop, some paprika, and I put some Old Bay. We put that on spin cycle, spin it up, and uh, just make it nice and creamy, get it all incorporated, and look at that majestic beauty just shining right back at you. Hey. <laughs> So next up, we're gonna go in with a cup of flour and a cup of cornstarch, equal parts. The cornstarch allows for a nice crispy, extra crispy batter, I should say. So I went with salt, sugar, some pepper, some paprika. This is nutmeg, I put a little too much, so just ease back on that. And then this seasoning salt. These are just what I had on hand and they work very, very good for, uh, for these purposes. So we just incorporate that. And next we are going to prep the actual chicken breasts. Get rid of the little grossy grosses, you know what I mean? These meats sometimes are rolling with some strange areas that you gotta get rid of. Next we lay out the breast flat lengthwise and then cut down the center into like two t tenders basically. Once you do that, just kind of separate them and then lay it out and start making your nuggets. Now, that tail end is a little thin, so you want to compensate for that and make that slice a little bigger. But from here, you can just make nice, uniform, chunky nuggets. So we're just going to run through this tender till that's done. And then you would repeat the same process just for the other side and then the other breast as well. And uh, that's what you end up with about 20 chunks so next we're gonna go in with some buttermilk to get those coated in so that the actual dredge will stick so just pop those in there give them a nice swish around you could let those like chill out for a while and really marinate but it doesn't really matter so just pop those in get them into the dredge and work it in really really well kind of pack the flour in um, try not to overcrowd your bowl too much otherwise it'll soak up too much flour and then you'll be left with a soggy mess and have to make more dredge but in this case i did pretty well so just kind of pack it all in and then we'll head our way over to the fryer so this is my home fryer i just bought this thing for like 40 bucks recently and it's actually been amazing if i'm honest so um shout out to that fryer but don't try to overcrowd your basket. I got a little greedy, but they still came out very, very nice. Uh, nice and golden brown. I'd say about six to eight minutes is what you're looking at for the cook time on these guys. So do that and then uh, pop them into a bowl. I'm gonna do half and half. So I'm gonna do half plain naked. Uh, this side's just gonna get simple salt. Just kind of toss that around. Just kind of coat the outside, make sure it's nice. And then head on over to the other bowl and we're going to just put in a pre-made hot sauce. I go with Frank's Buffalo and we just shake, 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 shake that guy into a flavor oblivion that's eventually going to burn and taste amazing in my mouth. So we do that um, and then we head on over to the plating of everything. So honey mustard, ketchup, ranch, of course, you guys know how I roll. And these fries I did in the fryer as well. So lay those out, get them all nice and safe and sound and ready to cradle and nest these beautiful chicken nuggets, tenders, boneless bites, whatever you want to really call them, it's up to you. But in this case, I'm going to use the term nugget, okay? Because they are nuggets of chicken with battering, fried, delicious, and beautiful. And of course, the last thing to do is just to food porn inspection, everything that we have in front of us, just to take a minute to soak in the glory of what is in front of us and enjoy this moment in our life. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one. We are having a homemade chicken nugget and crunchy fry with some sauces extravaganza. Before we do anything more, we must pour. All right, so we have the icy cup and dun -da -da -da, the return of the doctor. The doctor's in the building, you guys. 
And to be honest, my life could use a little saving. I lie because actually everything is quite all right and fine. I'm feeling great, I'm happy. Although one thing is mildly stressing me out and it has to do with the knives that I won. So maybe we'll touch on that once this fizz dies down. But you know, we must respect the ghost of Jack and Rose and do it proper for everybody who went down in the Titanic. Oh yeah, that tastes like a sinking ship, a delicious sinking ship in my mouth. Sometimes I'll pronounce words a little weird. It's just kind of my weird little vibe. But uh, somebody the other day got mad at me for saying Italian when I mentioned the chicken nugget, the Italian chicken boot. I know it's Italian. I know this. Anyhow, so because we concocted the amazing honey mustard we honey must do that first I believe now I know what you're saying in your head uh, damn sir those look like some well executed very professional chicken nuggets how is it that you're such a chicken nugget master You guys, well, I've always been killer at honey mustard. I've been perfecting my honey mustard for years, though. I've been working on the sauce. I mean, I found it. I found my motherland a long time ago. Mm. I make it as good or better than any restaurant. Promise. Anyways, as per the, the chicken nuggets, I will say that I had a chicken nugget sensei at one point, and I had a, a chicken nugget fried chicken masterclass 101 everything, you know what I mean? And it was actually in the last place that I worked before I uh, left Toronto. So my last chefing job there, and it was upscale pub bar food, a little hipster hole in the wall type bar, nice cocktails, good uh, homemade, like dirty pub food. AKA my favorite food. No, not when it jumps out of my hands. But we we save it. So I used to make these almost exact same chicken nuggets. For a few years now. It's a good recipe. The ones I was making at the place that I worked had had more uh, seasonings in it. I just used the bags that I have. I don't have an insane lineup. But still what I use is uh Very on point. Very, very on point. Mm -hmm. These fries are the best, most crispiest fries one could ever have. They have, as you'll see here, 
this bubbly, starchy, crispy exterior. They just snap and then have a nice mashed potato crunchy center. They're from PEI, Canada. Prince, Prid, Prid, Prince Edward Island. To be specific, and they are called Cavendish. If you can get your hands on them, you you do so immediately at all costs. They are magic. Very, very magical. Chicken nuggets and fries. One of my all time favorites. Just so simple. So good. So 12 years old, you know? But I'm 12 years old at heart. Because guess what, guys? I know it's cliche, but I'm here for a good time. Not a long time. I don't know why anybody would ever want to, like, grow up. Like, yeah, be responsible for yourself. But don't lose sense of, like, adventure and, like, wonderment. And, like, imagination and just having fun and living in the moment like I never want to have minivan mentality all stressed out <clears throat> kids are screaming baby bottles but hey if you want to have kids and stuff that comes with the territory and that's a fun thing in life obviously too it requires you to grow up a, you know a little bit more seriously but still I say like if I had kids I'd be having like a lot of fun with my kids Just trying to be a fun weirdo with them. Because kids know what's up. Kids live in the moment. Kids literally imagine everything right in front of them. And they just pretend it's there. It's like, oh, I'm in a castle. Oh, me and the boys are... Like... The boys could literally pick up twigs and pretend that they're having, like, an all-out gunfight. I literally saw this in the summer. I traveled with my dad and his, his friends. And they have this one little dude. And he had some Nerf guns. But they didn't have any of the bullets. And then too many kids wanted to play for how many guns there were. So only a select few kids got guns. And then the other kids just used like any random object, like a paper towel roll. And, and they were just, they had, were having the best time. It's 
fully engaged thinking like, oh, they were shooting each other and da 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 da. And I looked, was I was just watching, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember when my brain used to look, uh, work like that. <clears throat> but unfortunately we get older and we learn and we realize that we're holding a paper towel roll, not an actual Nerf gun. But it was interesting to watch. Just them having the best time with nothing other than this. This video took a completely different turn than I intended it to in terms of what I was going to talk about. But that's fine. Thoughts on the fly. Such a good meal. I'm always intrigued to know if there's people, because I know some people are just like, fries are for ketchup and ketchup only. And at one point in my life, I thought like that. And then your boy went brazy and started dipping his fries in everything. And realized that these potatoes were made for dipping. And that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these crispy ass potatoes are going to dip all over you and you and you and you so that happened I didn't count how many nuggets I got out of those two breasts but I think if I can remember correctly it would be about five per so five per side ten per breast Probably about 20 nuggets. So, with two chicken breasts, you can get a nice amount of nuggets. To take to your dome. And I'm telling you guys, you have to make the sauce. For those who skip through the intro, maybe go back. The ingredients are in there. I don't have exact measurements. Because at this point, I have just mastered the sauce, so my eyeballs are my measuring instruments. But I tell you what, you will not be let down if you get it locked in. The Buffalo Boys got me lighting up. I can feel it. Oh my god. Oh, the doctor, I need you now more than ever. Rid me of this spicy pain. Well, that was an absolute delay. In the next one, I will update you about the knives and the knives situation. 
until the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Big chicken nuggets and this dip. And stay true. Thank you.